week 23 sunday a reading from the sermon of pope saint leo the great on the beatitudes christian wisdom the lord says blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be satisfied this hunger is not for bodily food this thirst is not for earthly drink these seek their satisfaction in the food of righteousness and desire to be filled with the lord himself by being introduced into the secret of all mysteries happy the soul who desires the food of righteousness and thirst for such a drink had it not already tasted of their sweetness it would not seek after them when the soul harkens to the spirit of the prophet saying taste and see that the lord is good it has already received some part of the heavenly sweetness and been inflamed with love for this purest of joys henceforth despising all worldly things it is totally consumed with the desire to feast on righteousness and to grasp the full meaning of that first commandment you shall love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your mind and with all your strength for to love god is nothing other than to love righteousness just as in that commandment care of our neighbor is closely linked with love of god so in this passage the virtue of mercy is joined to the desire for righteousness and we read blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy christian man recognize the great worth of the wisdom that is yours recognize to the discipline you must exercise and the great price you are called to mercy demands that you be merciful righteousness that you be righteous so that the creator may be shown forth in the creature and that in the mirror of man's heart as in the lines of a portrait the image of god may be reflected the faith of those who do good is untroubled the things you desire you will obtain the things you love you will possess eternally since by virtue of your arms giving all things are pure to you you will come to that blessed state which has been promised you in the words of the lord Blessed are the pure of heart for they shall see God Dearly beloved great is the happiness of the man for whom such a price is prepared But what does it mean to be pure of heart Surely to strive after the virtues we have just mentioned What mind can fathom what tongue proclaim How great is the blessedness of seeing God yet when our human nature is transformed it will indeed happen that we shall see what no man is able to see we shall look upon God himself God as he is not in a glass darkly but face to face through the inexpressible joy of everlasting contemplation we shall grasp what no eye has seen or ear heard nor the heart of man conceived